Hello, this is Kevin with 3G Store, and today we're going to take a look at the Device Connector IP55. The IP55 includes everything you need with exception of an Ethernet cable, which we'll talk about later. There are two zip ties for pole mounting, a power supply, PoE injector, and the actual device connector. This is an outdoor IP55 rated device. That means it'll stand up to just about any conditions you throw at it. Whether it's rain or snow, you won't have any trouble running this outdoors. Around the back are LED lights to tell you its operation, mounting brackets for wall or the zip ties, and then a screw-in for the optional ball mount. Removing the bottom cover exposes the three Ethernet ports on the device connector. The first is your PoE input, which we'll look at in a second, and then there's two LAN ports for external devices, such as another access point or a camera. Removable inserts let you pass Ethernet cables in and out of the device while still maintaining its waterproof nature. With the included PoE injector, you can power the device connector using a standard Cat5 Ethernet cable up to 300 feet in length. You run a cable from the output of the PoE injector to the device connector and replace the bottom cover. This is all you need to power it on. This means you can easily mount a device connector outside for maximum range while keeping the power inside where it's convenient. With the PoE injector and the optional ball mount, you can now mount your device connector anywhere that you have a solid vertical surface. So what exactly does the device connector do? The first option you have is to use it as an outdoor access point. Using the other end of the PoE injector, you can connect it by Ethernet to a network switch or router and bring your Wi-Fi network outside at much greater ranges than your router is currently capable of on its own. Line of sight, you get a little bit over a thousand feet of range. The second option you have for the device connector is to run it completely wirelessly to the rest of your network. Using Wi-Fi as WAN, you'll pick up a Wi-Fi signal from an existing router and then rebroadcast a new signal over a much larger area. Now all you have to do is mount the device connector somewhere in range of another network and power it with the existing components. There's no need to physically connect any of this to your existing network. For more information on the device connector, head to 3gstore.com device connector, and for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you.